The following video is for educational purposes only. It's your responsibility not to harm any living organisms if you are building this circuit. Before we build the taser, let's see how it works. First, we need to convert DC input into AC by using some kind of converter. Then, by using a transformer, we increase the voltage. If you are using a transformer, the ratio of input voltage to output voltage will be equal to the number of turns in primary coil to number of turns in secondary coil. But to keep our circuit simple, we will not use DC to AC converter. So how are we going to do it? Let's look at this simple circuit. If we turn on the switch, the inductor of the primary coil of the transformer will get charged. Then suddenly if we turn off the switch, the charged magnetic field of the inductor will collapse, creating high voltage in primary coil, which means we have super high voltage in the secondary coil. Here I have a transformer and I'm going to pulse it with my 9 volt battery. As you can see, we have high voltage arc in the output. But the arc is not too big. To solve it, we can just add a capacitor across the primary coil of the transformer. The capacitor gets charged and it pours its energy into the inductor. Then the inductor pours its energy into the capacitor and they keep oscillating. The oscillation looks something like this. Here I have added a capacitor and I am going to pulse it again. As you can see we have little bit stronger arcs at the output. But I want to pulse it faster and make it automatic. But how are we gonna do it? For that, I'm using a relay. If we power the relay in this configuration, the relay switches very fast. Here I've made the same thing. And if you power the relay, you will hear the relay clicking. By combining both the concepts, I came up with the final schematics of my taser. Now I have built the circuit. Let's test it. As you can see, we have a continuous arc. Even though its arcs are small, it hurts really badly. So do not use this device to shock anybody. Now let's make it look like a taser. So this is my final product. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.